Holy smokes, Pickers, we are back. Oh my goodness. What are we doing today? We are gonna dive back into this unit. Oh yeah, there we go, guys, look. If you remember that one, we're still on that one. Many, many boxes to go. There's actually a giant pile over there. Look at all that stuff. This place really needs to be cleaned out, which we're gonna do. We're gonna do some flea market big loads and get rid of a lot of crap, but then bring the best stuff to you right here on this channel on our Wednesday auction. So thank you so much for being here. We're gonna dive into some more boxes in this Native American tools, kind of neat unit. I'm actually really, really liking it. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment, you know all the things, all the things that the YouTubers ask you to do, do those things here too, or don't, it doesn't matter. Just enjoy the video. All right, that looks like a box. It says slab saw, it's very, very heavy. I have one guess. Looks like a slab saw. Look at that beast. That's a big tool. You know, 15, 20 little toolboxes full of tools, lots and lots of tools. I don't know if we're gonna film all that, but it is in this unit too. But here's a slab saw. All right, calm down. Yes. Another one. Huh. More. It's more machines. Okay. More big machines that I don't really know what they do. But big machines nonetheless. Oh my goodness, I damn near got a hernia bringing this one over. This one is heavy. It says oil lamps, horns, rusty something, and a something. Whew, that was heavy. Well, let's start with this. Old, uh, look at these. Boom. Look at those. Nice little set of antlers there. There's a jar. Love me some jar action. Oh, okay. There's another horn. So that's what I think they meant by horns when we read horns. There's more. There's definitely more. I don't want to mess them up. There's another horn. Pretty cool piece of metal look at that another set of horns interesting maybe he was a hunter very cool look at this bad boy that says h2o lock knob pato blizzard deity fits all new york usa look at that it's got the the right kind of rust too that's got a vibe in the glass is beautiful all right I like that. That's kind of cool, right? Here's another one with no glass. That's pretty neat too. Let's put it right there. All right, all right. Oh my God, there's so many little pieces. Not sure. That's the lid to something. Look at that, an old rat trap. This buddy. What do you guys think that is? 20th century manufacturing, made in the USA. It's something. Old vintage goodness. There's the bottom of that piece. Where's the top? Look at that. Okay. Maybe not. This is like an absolute treasure hunt. There might be a part of it. Made in USA. That's a thick piece of glass, huh? Yeah, there's a bunch of them. You guys want to tell me in the comments what we're looking at here? Old lanterns. Those are the th about as thick as glass can get right there. Ooh, look at all the old like tools and parts and stuff. So there's, okay. Not sure. That feels like it's the same thing. That feels like it's one of those two. Look at all these things. There's the top. You guys seeing this? Look at those. Lots and lots of like prehistoric looking tools. Maybe he dug this stuff up. Look at that, some kind of a meat grinder. Little tiny baby chicken on the spoon. Look at that little guy. Neat stuff, iron. This probably goes to the top of that, right? What are we dealing with? Some kind of like foot thing? Peg leg, perhaps? I don't know. Ooh, look at that old piece of a train. Old piece of a train toy. There's so many like old little artifact type things. 
Look at that, to make shotgun shells? Let's see what this red guy is. Look at that old school Hudson 2 spray. I'm not gonna spray it. Look at that old mosquito spray thing. There's tons of little stuff. Not bad. This box feels like a winner. Let's see what we got. Okay, maybe. We got this biscuit. There's a cool old ball jar. Love that. What is this? A little, maybe it holds a scent. That's got a vibe, huh? That's really cool, actually. Gloves. I'm not gonna bother opening it. It feels like gloves. Little baby Jack. What's in here first? Ooh. What? Look at that. It's like faucets, but it's a kitty cat and a fish. Kitty cat says, I'm gonna run. Time to go. Fish says, it's all right. I was just swimming anyway. But maybe they're best of friends. That could be the case. Let's see, a potato sack, in case you want to do a potato sack race with me later. An old uh, poker chip tray. This has an odor, I'll be honest. It's not necessarily a bad odor, but I can't tell if I'm being poisoned or not. It is a, you can't even see the brand, but it is a tool. That's something. Yep, Makita, old Makita drill. Look at that bad boy. Oh my gosh. Look at the gears and stuff. How cool is that? That's kind of neat, right? Wow. Big old tool. More gloves. These would do great at the flea market. These are like leather. These are nice older work gloves. It's pounds and pounds of leather work gloves. A different colored jar. Wire side made in the USA. Ball. Cool different colored drill. Let's make sure we're not missing anything. There's another poker chip holder. There is a piece of stained glass, a dragonfly of sorts. And then just different cutters. Not a bad box. That was a fun box. We have a box. That's kind of different, huh? Lantern of sorts. Ooh, it looks, it's all shiny stuff. <laughs> Look at that. Is that good? It says M E C H O. E-N Mexico. Look at this bad boy. Let's open it. Whoa, dude. Wood. It's a combination of metals. And it's pretty. Wow. What is this guy? Is this Aladdin's lamp? Come on, Aladdin. Three wishes. We got... Oh my gosh. Look at that. That's got a stamp on it too. I can't read it. Look at these. These guys go together? How cool! I don't know if how, what they're worth, but this is already a really fun box. These are tiny little corn sticks things, sterling silver. What? Should we auction those on our, our auction every Wednesday? Look at those. Sterling silver. Let me poke that back in there. Get back in there. I don't want to hurt myself. It says sterling on each piece. Wow. How cool is that? Sterling silver corn holders. I don't know if I'm saying that right. This says sterling cement filled reinforced with rod. Possibly silver. Is this silver? We might have some big old pieces of silver. What is this guy? Uh, there's stamps, but I can't read them. Hmm. This is a neat box. Wow, I'm having fun. Ooh, look at that. Rogers Sterling, 1940. Is that silver? Rogers Sterling, 1940. Is that what that is? Sorry, I got I got excited. I had to stop the video and look this up. This is 1940 uh, Sterling silver thing. What's this guy? I don't know, cute though. Let's get this guy out. Oh my gosh, it's a turtle. Oh my goodness, it's a big turtle. What is that, brass? Is that a big brass turtle? Look at the turtle, dude. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. Whoa. Oh 
my goodness. Whoa! <laughs> There's something in it too. Well, let's look at the little bathtub first. I don't know what that is, but wow. All right, all right, hold on, slow down. Let's look at what was in the bathtub. What was in the bathtub? It is a, it's got stamps on it too. M, B, C, and there's a number. What is this? Oh my goodness. More things. Made in Sweden. Made in Sweden. Some kind of really cool uh, candle holders. Made in Sweden. Istad Metal. Whoa, all right. Okay, let me set those down. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself here. And then a beautiful blue dish. Well, this box was fun. There's something else. Oh my God, there's spoons. Before we look at the spoons, we got a brass railroad spike. There's another railroad spike. Those are different. Is there more? What a fun box. Come on, let's look at these spoons. They don't look silver to me. It's funny because the brand is like a sterling. Stainless Valhalla. Stainless Valhalla. Oh my God, what a box. We are getting through it. All right. Old jar. That is a bird on a on a perch. Get your scrub daddy with that. Look at that. Edgeworth extra high grade sliced pipe tobacco. Nice old can. And then inside is a little oil lamp biscuit. Belt buckle. Ooh. More belt buckles. Scorpio. Look at that old Scorpio belt buckle. There's like a little butterfly. Maybe we'll put some of these in our junk drawer lots. Look at that old pencil sharpener. I love boxes like this because of the mystery. Just some uh, homemade pottery there. A duck tin. Is there anything in it? There's not. But it is a neat duck tin. Oh, we're going to fill the junk drawer lots with this. This is something where you like tie fishing flies or something, right? I'm sure there's many uses, but I think people use these to tie flies. Uh, tools, this fella. Oh, there's a, dude, there's a bunch of those, look at this. Little tiny oil cans. Made in the USA, it's a bunch of oil cans. Whole bunch of them. That one's got a little twist them up. There's two more there. Those are, those are super neat, what is this? That's kind of cool. Look at that. It's got like a stone. A little baby hammer. There's a couple things down there, but I, if I move the bucket, I don't know if I'll ever get the bucket back in. There's a scale. We're gonna weigh the biggest bass ever. There's another scale. Wow. This is like junk drawer heaven, dude. Another old pencil sharpener. Ooh, there's a vintage Harley Davidson belt buckle. Oh, that's awesome. There's another bird on a perch. Very, very cool. A wind up alligator, let's see. It wants to, come on buddy, shake your booty. There he goes, look at him, look it. Come on, no? There's a big iron. There is a ring, is that silver? What a beautiful ring. Look at that, that's where you set the iron. The pieces are coming together, boom. That was a really fun box. I don't know about you guys, I love that box. I wear my sunglasses in the day. Indoors, why not? The gift that keeps on giving, am I right? Am I right? This unit is so much fun. I'm having a blast with it. We found several products. I looked up that little uh, Harley Davidson belt buckle and there's one on there for 80 bucks shipping in horrible condition. Ours looks almost brand new. It's the same exact one. So vintage Harley stuff, pretty cool. Every little box is a new adventure. I'm having such a blast with it. There's so much more to go in this unit. I actually rented a storage unit and put 
another entire van load of this unit in there. At one point, we'll go to that storage unit and put it in there. A lot of it's the heavy, heavy tools and machines and stuff like that, but some really cool stuff in there too. My goodness, I'm just, I don't know. I love this unit. This unit is sucking all my energy away, but I really, really like this unit. I'm having a blast. Maybe we uh, did really, really well. I think we did. And there's so much more to go, so stay tuned. I love you very much. I'll see you next time. Yes.